Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the build 27898. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest build for the Canary Channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, on the Canary Channel, Microsoft is introducing these small taskbar buttons or icons. If you go to taskbar settings, and then taskbar behaviors, you should see this new option, which is set by default to when taskbar is full, show smaller taskbar buttons. You can set it to always or on never. This is something that we've had previously on other insider preview belts. In the Canary channel, Microsoft is also introducing quick machine recovery. If you go to settings, system, and then scroll down to recovery, you may notice this new option, quick machine recovery. And basically this will help you to find and fix the problem with device recovery solutions. When your device is not booting, you can enable it and then you can also enable to continue searching if a solution isn't found whenever booting up is no longer working or anything like that then you can customize these settings here to choose when Microsoft can look for solutions and when Microsoft can restart your system related to voice access Microsoft is introducing the ability for you to add your own words to the dictionary which is something pretty cool also for voice access Microsoft is introducing Chinese and Japanese support and also related to narrator Microsoft is adding the screen curtain feature which is designed to enhance privacy and focus for users who rely on a screen reading. And also for the Narrator app, Microsoft is introducing a smoother way to discover and learn about Narrator capabilities right from the experience. Microsoft also updated some privacy dialogues for app permissions. When an app requests permission to access location camera mic, this will be now a system modal design. And for example, in Sound Recorder, this is how the new dialogue is looking. Also, Microsoft is rolling out a change where Microsoft Intra-ID authentication requests will be rendered using WebView 2 instead of WebView 1. One. Related to the taskbar and system tray, if you go to the quick settings menu and then to accessibility, you may notice that in addition to the new grouping of the accessibility flyout in quick settings, Microsoft is also adding text descriptions for the assistive technologies like narrator, voice access, and more. Also, admins can now allow users to unpin specific apps, ensuring that they are not pinned again during the next policy refresh cycle. To enable this feature, you can use the new pin generation option and you can learn more about it on the official Microsoft blog post. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft is redesigning the context menu a bit. As you can see, we now have these dividers for these top level icons whenever you right click on an item. I think that is pretty good. It helps you differentiate better the buttons. Related to Energy Saver, Microsoft is beginning to preview Adaptive Energy Saver, which can be found in Settings, System, and then Power. And you should have it here. Basically, Adaptive Energy Saver is an opt-in feature that automatically enables and disables Energy Saver without changing screen brightness based on the power state of your device and the current system load. This will only be available on devices with a battery, so in this case it is not available, but on a laptop it will be. Related to system share, Microsoft is adding a preview for when you're sharing links or web content using the share window, and also you're going to be able to quickly compress an image if you're sharing it using the default sharing option from Windows 11. Related to settings, Microsoft has done a few changes in the Canary channel. If you're going to settings, time and language, and then language and region, you may notice the device setup region information, which is here, basically the country or region that you selected during the device setup and also related to default apps if you're going to settings and then apps then default apps you may notice that when changing different settings for browsers as an example in the European economic area most likely you're gonna have some new additional types for link types and file types and also you can select a browser to be the default PDF reader and also the new default browser will be automatically pinned to the taskbar and start menu unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes related to the snipping tool app Microsoft is adding a new option or a new shortcut when shift plus T to be able to quickly jump to the text extractor feature that you can use directly from the app and I think this is a pretty useful feature. Talking about fixes in this build related to the file explorer, Microsoft has done some work to improve the performance of extracting archive files. This will particularly help in the case of copy pasting large number of files out of large 7z or RAR archives. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an issue where typing Japanese with a touch keyboard might stop working after switching to typing with an English keyboard and back. Related to the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause settings to crash when changing mouse cursor and they also fixed an underlying issue which could lead to the settings window hanging and no longer responding to input or resizing unless you closed and reopened it. And some two other fixes, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue in the previous slide which could lead to math.pow not outputting the correct result which could lead to unexpected behavior in apps and games and also they adjusted the error text if a Windows update fails due to system reserve partition not having enough free space to make it clearer 
that that's the issue. There's also a new known issue related to the file explorer where file explorer may fail to persist any view changes. This also impacts desktop icons which may unexpectedly move or change size back to default. So basically this is the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. For more information you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.